So first things first, what is a tenth? Well, hopefully you have some knowledge of your intervals, and if you think of a starting root note, we will go with C for this. Um, each uh, key up is its own numerical interval away from that root. So we think of the D next to it as being a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and up to the octave. Oct, of course, referring to eight um, in between. We actually think about continuing beyond that um, in a number of different fashions, not least of which are kind of more advanced uh, harmonic ways of thinking like um, in jazz or classical or that sort of thing. So we actually think of going beyond the octave, eight to the ninth, and sure enough here on the E above is the tenth. Um, in a weird sort of way, you can just think of it as being a third, but up an octave from that, but it really is these 10 notes beyond. And it has a very different character than your standard, than your standard third sound. It has a much more open sound. Things are not so close together. So tenths tend to be very, um, a very popular, more advanced interval to think of. If you can um, actually reach a tenth, they, they end up being popular amongst um, larger voicings for like romantic music or um, jazz. Right. So if you can actually reach that, it makes for a nice lower uh, left hand interval to reach that far. So, okay, we're going to show you how to play in these tenths in one octave and in two octaves. And what we're going to use for this lesson are the white note scales. That is the scales, the major scales that are starting on C, D, E, F, uh, G, A, and B. Um, so those are what we're going to use there. You could, of course, do this for other things, but just for, this, for the sake of keeping the lesson somewhat efficient, we're just going to show you with those. And we, of course, going to start with our wonderful C major scale which, if you'll remember, looks and sounds like this in its most basic form. Knowing the fingering and being very familiar with the fingering for these scales is pretty essential um, for for really making it efficient for you to be able to play in tense like this. And you'll hear why in just a moment. So make sure that if you're a little rusty, you go back and memorize right hand, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Um, or if you're continuing up, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Um, and then same thing with the left hand, but opposite, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And if you're continuing, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Be able to do those one hand at a time and both hands together um, and be really familiar with that for this. Here's why. Let's jump in. So, in tense, start with the C. We're going to, our tenth is going to be up, um, up to the E. This is how we're going to do this for this lesson. And the way that you want to do this is to try and think about starting with on the finger and on the particular degree of the scale using the finger that you would be normally. So, for my left hand, my left hand is just going to go ahead and play a regular scale. My right hand is going to start on the E, but instead of starting on my thumb, um, I'll, I'll mention a quick hack for this scale once I'm done um, doing the real description of it. Where you want to start is you want to pretend like you've already crossed up the three notes to the E, and your next move is from the E to cross here and then continue up the scale as normal. Crossing again, as you would, going up two octaves or up to another octave. And there you get to your three there, like you would just be moving up. So it's like you're playing the octave, but instead of playing from C to C here, you're playing exactly the same finger pattern from E to E. And it starts with three and ends with three and crosses where it would. It's a little weird to think about to begin with, but once you get it, it's actually not that hard. And actually, C major is probably, weirdly enough, um, one of the harder ones to try and think about this as um, just because it's kind of the C of white notes. So get that together, put it together with your regular scale, and you'll get something that looks and sounds like this. There it is. Tenths. Thanks for watching this lesson from Liberty Park Music. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something from it, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it around. Let your friends and family check it out too.
If you want to find more lessons like this or explore other piano-related topics, please come visit us at libertyparkmusic.com. We have full piano courses ranging from beginner to more advanced levels, and everything is online and streaming 24-7 so that you can design your music learning around your schedule and learn in the comfort of your own home from a talented roster of professional teachers and musicians. Come check us out.